it's hot. You ready? <laughs> Dragon Feather and I brought me amigo back. We are here to talk about when people like try to change your religion, like people, not necessarily missionaries, but like people in general, like friends that try to tell you that you're wrong with your religion or try and like discourage it or just don't approve of it. I and mean, like the way to react to it. In the case of like for us who believe in, you know, your goddess and you know, God mm -hmm. for me, you know, there's people who say, well, there's no scientific evidence Oh, well, I base my belief on science. They go into this whole detail on why, you know, science can prove this and blah, blah, blah. Some people might say, well, they're not trying to tell you what to believe. You can tell the difference between somebody telling you what they believe and somebody, if your belief is not right to them. Or they're almost like try to discourage you too. Well, you see, no offense, but blah, blah, blah. Like, the best way to handle it is to just say, well, it works for me. Yeah. Period. And cut it off right there. Sometimes people are really ignorant. It's just a matter of telling them, look, you can't say that to me because I believe this. But I know the way to respond when someone treats you like that is just stay very calm and composed and collected. That's what you think. This is what I think. Let's agree to disagree and be done with it. And even with, like, with, with Hannah, like, and our friend Hunter, which I'm going to do a video with him too, they are not my path but they are coming to me, they're coming with me to the Beltane ritual in my coven just to support me. Like, and I went to church with Hunter to support him. Like, that is how it should be. That's really, like, loving your neighbor like I love you. It's really not about, like, who's right and who's wrong. It's about enjoying the way there and, like, enjoying the journey. If one certain belief doesn't make you happy, don't go with it. If one certain belief makes you happy, then stick with go it. Go for it. And, and they're trying to figure it out for themselves. Mm hmm And for the people who are hateful, just ignore them. And if they get violent with you, don't try to handle it on your own. Go talk to someone. Like, I know this is a very... High talk school. to us. Yeah, talk to us. Yeah. I have a Tumblr if you want I'll to I'll post her Tumblr. Like, seriously, send us, like, a, a piece of paper as long as the Great Wall of China. Like, we'll read it and we'll help you guys. You know, don't... Don't be afraid. Yeah, don't be afraid. Honestly, like, if you live your life in fear, like, you're not going to be happy. You're not going to live. You're going to regret it. Until next time, blessed be, you will definitely be seeing a lot more of her. Check out her Tumblr because some of the stuff that she posts are really amazing. I, you know, I might as well put my Tumblr in there too. Um, I post pictures of nature and stuff because how cliche is that? Check out our Tumblrs if you would like, if you have a Tumblr. If not, create one and follow us just because I said so. Oh, and it's her birthday. She's 18. Our relationship's illegal now. It's so sad. It's okay. It's so sad. Nobody will know. And bye. Why didn't you tell me that about this? Did I not tell you about that? Uh-uh. I would have thrown a Bible at their face. <laughs> 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 <laughs>